Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually a suggestion that was put in the comments. Um, it was a couple of episodes for me ago, but um, yeah, it was. I've seen it in the comments section this morning. Uh, why don't I set up a macro down here so that I can do the whole waving thing without having to worry quite so much about it. So, what you do... To set up a macro, I thought this would be a really good chance because uh, some of you probably don't know how to set up macros. It's been a little while since I talked about it as well. So you just simply go, you just type slash macro like that, and you bring up this. And we've got uh, this is all my macros here. So um, I've, I've got all sorts of stuff here. Um, pop heroism. Oh, that was a raid warning. That was promise. That's a long time ago. Right. So anyway, what we want to do is we want to click on new right there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look. Look, look, there's a hole in the floor. This person has gone in here. There's a secret bit that we've not been into before. And yeah, it says that I haven't... Uh, that I've... You do not belong here, Paladin. Be gone. I actually discovered that just before I started recording. I thought it'd be really cool if I could actually show you that. Uh, so anyway, we've got that little cool bit. And then we want to go to macros right there. And we're going to go news. So the first thing you do is you select the icon for your macro. This is every single icon that is available in the game, okay? There are a lot of icons in this game, it's got to be said. And I don't know if it is absolutely every single one. There may be some macro, there may be some icons that aren't even present on this list. You never know. But as fortune would have it... I mean, yeah, it is exactly the same as the flash of light there, but I figured that the raised hand is probably pretty good. We go with that one, actually, because that's, that's another raised hand. Um, and, and that's kind of what I want. So what we want here is we want to say goodbye or hello. You know, maybe I'll just maybe I'll change it to wave there. OK, so we do that. That's the title of it. It's only the title. That's all you've got to do. But then you've got to e enter the macro command. So first one is going to be clear uh, target. I think you do cla uh, slash clear target. Let me Victory try. Victory lies ahead. There, you, um, save. Right, and I'll drop that down there a minute. So we can test this, okay? Clear target. That clears target, right? Doesn't matter who I'm selecting, clear target. Right, that's the first bit of the macro done. We've, we've established that that does actually work. If you're unsure, you can always check it down here. Just there, clear target like that, and it, it seems to have worked. So there we go, um, clear target like that, and it cleared the target. So that's beautiful, that's that's perfect, that's what we wanted to do. So then I go back to macro, and we'll go back to the last one that we were working on. So clear target, enter, next line, and then wave, like that. So it'll clear target first, then it'll wave. Okay, save, and then I'll leave. Right, now, so let's, let's try this again. So what we've been doing is we've had somebody who's been up there, and then I've gone to say goodbye, and there, a clear target, and I waved. And you can even say something down here. You can get it to come up with something. I'll show you that one because I do actually have one. Because I've seen somebody jumping in the... Um, I've seen a... Um, so it's slash E, and that's the person that's just who's saying it. If you do, if you do slash emote, um, rather, uh, you do slash emote, and then space... Uh, it just says. Um, so if I click that one a minute, and you do have to drop it down onto an action bar. If I do that, it says, Grundorn says, Panda, we do not wash our pits in the pool of sacred tears. Because I happened to see somebody who had a panda character was jumping around in the fountain and storming. So um, I quickly typed that one out. And um, I thought it was quite funny. I don't know if anybody else thought it was funny. I don't even know if anybody else seen it. But I thought it was funny. And that seemed really good. Right, we've got else in here. I don't think there's much else in there that I need to worry about. Um, what else have we got? Uh, wave. So th there was that one. There was another one that I wanted to do. I'm sure there was another. I was just thinking there's another macro that I could actually make. And no, I can't remember what it was. Um, oh, yes, I know what it was. I know what it was. I know what it was because, right, there's, there's various different things that your mounts can do, okay? So if I summon up the mount, every mount, or almost every mount, has got this. Right, I go mount special like that, and it'll do whatever special ability. 
And I thought, I don't have a macro for that. So if I've got a macro, I could very quickly do it. So we go new like this. And now we want a mount. We want a suitable one here. And I think actually, there. see, we've got a whole load of mount um, pictures right here that we could use. Um, I do you we see we got that one down there we got familiar ones down the side there But that one there is not one that I actually have so I'm gonna use that one there And I'm going to do mount like that. I'm gonna say okay, and then I'm just gonna do mount special That's all it's going to be mount special one word like that save and then you drag the icon down uh, We're gonna drop that one into there. So there is our mount special like that so then, when I summon up our Coal Fist Gronling here, this beauty, this absolute beauty right here, and I click on that one, you can see what the mount special is for him. Which I quite like. I do like that one. And then, you've got the Amber Scorpion. The, I, I, to be honest, the, the mount special for this one is not so great. Just kind of waves his claws around a little bit. So, it's, it's, it's not so much. And then, our Noble Epic Paladin Charger tilts back just very frisky and and quite cool so anyway let me carry on and by the way i'd just like to say welcome to the guild we've got a couple of new people we've got uh, damocles there and someone else a uh, calcium right there. there's another new person that joined the guild um we've got the youtube community here there's more of you joining here so if you're unsure how to join there is a um a thing in the description down below and you just copy and paste that code put it right there into the join community you can join and you'll be able to join now in order to be able to join the chat you could be anywhere on the eu region and in order to be able to join our guild, you do need to be on the Terranas server. It will say, it does say that down below. Also, uh, Calcium here, he did have a little bit of a problem because he was on a trial account. So he wasn't able to join to start with. But it does look like he's now managed to do it. Um, you cannot do it on a trial account. Unfortunately, you do have to be on a paid for account to be able to join a guild so there is that bit just to remember but yeah welcome to the guild to those new people and anybody else who wants to join you're welcome to join you have a one week's um trial to start with as initiate and so long as everybody gets along and nobody's being nasty and obnoxious to each other you then get promoted to full membership and full membership grants you little perks like, well, actually, you, you initiate, you get to use these perks anyway. But no, the, the other perks that you do get is that um, experienced players can be veterans or you can just be a member. Veterans are people who know how to play the game and are willing to answer some questions about how the game works. Otherwise, it's basic membership. Um, but every single person is able to invite other people to the guild. Uh, yeah, right there. You go, you go to the... the first section there and you click on invite member and you add their name just like that uh, so you can add other people to the guild you won't be able to promote people only i am able to promote people and we give them the one week trial so the initiates do not have privileges such as access to the guild bank and so on that comes after your one week trial um, this is just so that I can make sure that we don't have any trolls turning up and trying to ruin the experience of people and, um, and so on and so forth. But that's this kind of standard procedure for any guild in an online game. Now, let's get on with the show. I have spent far too long rattling about nothing. Can I help you? Our duty for the day is done. It is only a matter of time before we defeat the Scourge today. We made progress. Now, that was the one where we were burying blades into the corpses so they couldn't so be reanimated. Ooh, we're level 46. New dungeon unlocked, Stratholm. That is one of the quests from right behind here. Um, you receive item Omerian's Gift, which is that trinket. And we don't actually have any trinkets at all. Now, a lot of a lot of lower level trinkets have a use. They have a use button. Uh, honorable Medallion. I don't think I've actually got that, but I want to do that. And those are now useless seem to be able to do anything because they're unreliable against targets you know higher than level 24 uh, so we can't really use that but yeah a lot of trinkets have actually got a use so you need to click on them on the bar in order to be able to use this one uh, increases strength by 34 for 20 seconds with a two minute cooldown so it's a really cool thing to use if it starts to get a little bit hairy in a fight you pop that cooldown and you've got an extra bit of strength which is something that's really good for paladins and warriors and death knights and so on you know it, it does increase our damage quite a bit uh trinkets in higher level they tend to be um 
a chance on spellcast or a, t a chance on use of an ability. And I do actually prefer those because I don't have to keep remembering to pop them when things get a bit hairy. Because uh, I always forget. I always forget about them. Argent Call and Noxious Glade. Yeah, we went up and we did something for him up there as well. We killed a load of things, I think. Um, you've returned sooner than I expected. Excellent. We will continue our path into the north. Next, you will be completing a similar task. This time in Northdale. For the Alliance. Quite sure where Northdale is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Let's take a mosey on outside. We've a few more out here. Smokey LaRue. Who are you? Who are you? You've been fighting undead. Did you find Broman? I did. Well, well, well. It looks someone who goes and gets things done. Here's your cup, Chief. I'll be seeing you around. Off with you. Right. We got one more over here, which was the Tauren. And he's very deep in his voice, isn't he? Greetings. Greetings. You will grow to tolerate the taste, human. I did. Something slightly weird about a cow sitting down and tucking into a big plate of meat. It, it yeah, that's just odd. <laughs> that's just very, very odd. Anyway, um, no, I realise that Torin are not all cows. I, I, I accept this. I accept that they're not all cows. Right. May the Earth Mother watch over you. Bless you, young one. And we can have... Oh, there is a reasonable upgrade. Uh, that's pretty much the same. There's no difference. And there is another trinket right there. We got two. Agility is not very good for a trinket. But, you know, we'll, we'll take it anyway. Because um, we do get plus 11 critical strike on that. So an extra trinket as well. That gives us two trinkets now. With your contributions to the food stores, my current assignment is complete. I will be heading north to the Plaguewood next. I understand you may be headed in the same direction. Do you mind if I join you on the road? I will head northwest to East Wall Tower. If you're interested in teaming up, you can meet up with me there. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Okay, we've got another quest. I'm going to leave the dungeon quests um, for these lower levels, or at least at the moment. Um, I don't actually have any particular desire to go chasing Maladesh, these dungeons. Maladesh Malanore. Maladesh Malanore. I love the um, ones that the elves give to start with, the the, um, the greetings. Tyrosis. Ty Tyrosis or Ty Tyrosis has given us our next task. Slaying more undead in Northdale. Gidwin is excited to move forward, but I think we should show a little more caution. Let's meet up with Fiona. She should be at the next tower by now. East Wall Tower, I think it's called. It's close. Up to, uh, up by the northwest of Lightope. We can rest there and plan our attack on Northdale. Death to all who oppose us! I love the echo that they've now put on these things in the buildings. That is another very cool touch. It's only small. It's only a small thing, but it's another... It's another one of those little tiny, like, flavour items. Now... Last time, I did some pets, um, so we could do some fishing, although I don't really want to go chasing after sagefish. We'll see if there's any other fish, because the greater sagefish don't seem to be doing me any use at the moment. I got no recipes for sagefish. Now, we were at Light Shield Tower. I know what we're going to do. We're going to fly to Light Shield Tower, and then we will run north from there up the road. I think that's going to be a better way of doing it. So let's go and find the Griffin Keeper. Uh, you over here, Griffin Master. Well met. Well met. And we want to go Safe over there. Travels. Safe travels. We're going to fly over this way, which is... It's actually that tower right there, I think, isn't it? Is it? No, that's the one that we need to go... Probably should have just run over to that one, to be honest. But still, we've done it now. We've committed. So we're going to go to Light Shield Tower, and then we're going to run up there. Right, I don't think I'm going to do fishing today. I'm just looking at these, the greatest age fish. I don't think it's going to benefit us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab a pet. And while we try and grab this pet, um, just here, I was just saying in the guild, because we've got four people online. There's actually four people online at the moment. Um, and so I'm hoping this weekend to do a little guild event. It's not going to be anything major. It's not going to be like super, super impressive or anything. Um, but what you will be able to do is, it, it's going to be a hide-and-seek game. There, it's right there. It's in Elwyn Forest, so, um, if you've got a character that is above level 20, it will make life a lot easier for you. 
um, because Elwyn Forest goes up to level it's 1 to 20. So if you're above level 20, you better run anywhere through here. I'm going to hide with Frithgar somewhere in Elwyn Forest. It could be anywhere up around in Northshire. It could be down here. It could be in the mine. Um, I'm going to secrete myself away somewhere in Elwyn Forest. And then you've got to come and find me. The first person to come and find me, uh, the first person to actually find me and open a trade window with me, is the person that will win a prize. And in the prizes, I have shown you this previously, but I'm going to show you again. Um, mobile banking is one of the guild perks, so we just press that one right there. And this one is five minutes. It's got a one hour cooldown. Um, but yes, right here, that's the first tab. So ignore the first tab. It's in here. Uh, I have actually got some more pets to put in here, which has been gifted by Senlayer, but you will be able to pick a prize from the guild tab. Um, so, you know, you could have one of these mounts if you wanted to, although most people have got one of these mounts already. So you take it, you can sell it on the auction house if you really want to. You can have one of these pets to add to your collection. Um, you can have one of these bags right here, and I know that a lot of these items are fairly, they're worth several thousand gold on the auction house, and... One of the things is it's your prize. You can do with it what you want. If you win the prize and you go and you list it on the auction house, that is absolutely fine. I really don't mind. If you want to get several thousand gold for your hex weave bag instead of using it for the 30 slot bag, that's entirely up to you. I am not going to get... I know that some people you know, might not think that that's acceptable. I'm saying right now before we start any guild events... You do, what you, you do what you want with your own prize. So it's your prize. You do what you like with it. Um, and I will try to make sure that we've always got some prizes in here. And so that yeah, I'm hoping that that's going to be a bit of fun that we can have on Friday evening. And I'm just actually, I'm having a look. I need to have a look now because um, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm recording episode 43 right now on Saturday evening. I'm recording episode 43. So this guild event is actually going to be in just a few hours. A few hours after probably in two hours I would guess. Maybe only an hour's time after this episode has gone live. So it's not much good me uh, announcing it on here but I'm doing that anyway. Um, and don't forget we also have a guild competition to design our new tabard. I've already had a few people um, submit some entries. Um, they are absolutely brilliant, by the way. We've got one that is, um, I think, a very strong contender that looks very much like the Frithgar logo, which I think is brilliant. And then the other one, which is also an equally strong contender, is um, got a squirrel in the middle of it to represent World of Squirrelcraft. And either of those, I think it, it could go either way. But if you have your own take, um, get into the um, comment section down below or look in the um, description. There is a link to a website that you can use to design a logo for the guild. And I'm going to pick out the best two or three that I like out of those and we'll run a vote on those and there will be a prize from the um, prize tab for the winner. Now, I have been squirreled quite enough. I've, I've been distracted by all sorts of things. So let's just see if we can do anything with a festering maggot over here. We can, we, well, we don't have any upgrades. I'm not going to bother. If we, if we don't have upgrades, I'm not going to bother. If we're not getting upgrades on our pets, it's not worth it as far as I'm concerned. So we'll leave that one. Uh, we'll come back to it in a little while. Uh, pet journal over here. And I just want to click revive pets to bring them back up to maximum health. This one, I actually forgot I had this one. This is one of the ones that drops from one of the world, uh, from, yeah, one of the world events. It happens only for like a couple of weeks at a time. Um, I, I'm still sort of stunned I got... There's another one. There's, there's two mounts from this event, and I got one. I, I was just amazed I got this. The Great Brewfest Kodo. It's awesome. It really is. It's absolutely amazing. Right. We go to there. And, right, we now have a couple of quests here that we want to do before we do anything else. So let's go and we'll speak to Fiona. I have what you seek. I have what you seek. An opportune alliance. You brought us a shaman from the Earthen Ring, no less. I have no idea how we'll fit him in the caravan, but we'll find a way. Welcome aboard, Rimblat Earthshatter. Here we go. Hello, Grundorn. Glad to see you rejoin the caravan. Taranar and Gidwin arrived here before you. Taranar's just right there, and Gidwin's, well, he's in a little bit of a mood right now. I think he's in the tower. Spread the good word, eh? Spread the good word, eh? Yeah, all right. All right, mate. No worries. No worries, sunshine. Let's go and have a chat with... Blessings upon you. Blessings upon you. 
The most flares of Zalmasha spit in the face of the light. They cannibalize, they criminalize, they prioritize the forces of evil over good. I advise that you remove their eyes and give rise to the demise and the goodbyes of the unwise. You will travel north and you will rain down on them with righteous justice and indignation, Grundorn. The fury that they have wrought in the eyes of the light shall be channeled through you. That is quite possibly the greatest speech I have heard in Warcraft. This is brilliant. That is absolutely awesome. I really want to read it again. I'm not going to. I really, I, I, I'm not actually going to, but I really do want to read that one out again because that sounded fantastic. It really did. Anaria Shola. I know we're supposed to head to Northdale, but that can wait, right? Besides, this lovely little goblin was just telling me about the some scourge that are even closer by. So apparently, there's this Nerubian underlord named Ixlar that has been trying to make a name for himself ever since the Lich King was slain. He set up a camp of undead to our north. Sure, Tyrosus wants us to kill banshees in Northdale. We get to that, but let's kill this Nerubian first while we're close. Remember the sun well. I remember the sun well. Huzzah! What's up? North of here and west of Northdale, you will find the corpulent Magus be Maggot Beast Borrel Gore. I've lost entire regiments to that monster. His size no, no, knows no bounds. The more he eats, the greater his girth becomes. Sounds a bit like me, to be honest. While I would not suffer any emotional harm should the beast devour you, I would prefer you were the victor. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. Whilst I would not suffer emotional harm, should you be eaten. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Boral Gore has been noted to devour others who tried to hunt him. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I also really love these worms because they are straight out of June. We can all see that. They are straight from... June, the books, the films, whichever ones you want, but yeah, they're, they're straight from there, and they are brilliant. Now, where is... Where is he? We should have a quest here. Who's got the quest? Someone's got a quest. Is it in here? It's the same height as me, but I don't see it. Um... Right, well, now it's... Oh, it's down over here now. Ah, Vex Tool. He was with us before, wasn't he? He's... You have been eating something. You have been eating something. It is time that I ask the favor of you, Grandorn. Far to the north of Eastwall, Eastwall Tower, hidden among the hills, is the most flare capital city of Zolmasha. It was here that I was born and here that I died. The traitor Thresh Jin sits atop Zolmasha's ziggurat. It was my every right to be there, but he took the seat from me with treachery and deceit. He is not strong, he is weak. I will meet you in Zulmasha, and we will kill him, your strength and mine together. Ashes to ashes. I love the Death Knight voices. There is just something very cool about the sort of the slightly undead sounding voices of the Death Knights anyway. Um, and the troll accent is just beautiful. I absolutely love the island's accent that they've got going on. It, it is truly beautiful. And yeah, I'm probably butchering it, same as I butcher all the other accents I try and do, but it's fun. I'm, a, I'm, I'm having fun. I, I, I'll say that. Now, what do we got up here? Ooh, well, I've got my, um, I've got this one right here. Let's, let's just hit that one a minute and, okay, yeah, see? We, out of range. It, it, does, it does a beautiful job. He does a beautiful job of doing some extra damage. Let's bring in another Gangle Golem here. And there we go. See, I, you get quite a lot of um, time with your increased stats. And it's a two-minute cooldown, so you can burn through it quite quickly. We have Mithril. We've got Mithril. Ah. Every time I see that word, I think of the Lord of the Rings when um, the Hobbit, what's his name? Um, the, the main guy, what's he called? And the dwarf sees, you know, you get stabbed. Um, not Samwise. Um, Frodo! I can't believe I forgot that name. When Frodo gets stabbed by the big troll and then they see what's underneath and the dwarf goes, Mithril. He's just, he's, yeah, he's, he's just, yeah, it's brilliant. It's, it's brilliant. It's wonderful. It's, there's nothing can compare. We all know this. I'm pretty sure he just leveled up. It genuinely looked like Taranar just dinged right next to me there. Which, if he did, that's actually pretty cool. Right, I got that one there. 
Um, th this one here. But the, I, I got the other one. I forgot to equip it as well, didn't I? There, the Devourer's Stomach, the second one. Right there, increase agility by 34. Now, agility doesn't actually do us very much good. Um, so, I, I don't really know that we're going to get a lot. We do have a target dummy there that we can use as a distraction. We'll eat a little bit here just to keep us going. I don't think there's anything else that we want to do. Um, I'll put the, the meat up there a second. And come off like that. And like that. And Torval has just earned himself another... What, what, what are you... Seriously, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? I was eating. And let's chuck these down here. Okay, let's let's burn some agility here. Okay, I'm now stunned. I'm, I'm supposed to be having extra agility. I don't think agility does me any good at all. I thought that it was to do with armor rating, but maybe it doesn't. I'll find out in a minute. I'm, I'm a little bit... Um, oh, very nice. Uh, very nice there. Level 45, that's, that's pretty good. Right, I have that thing. Ixla! Ixla, come here. You're mine. You are mine. There, now we pop our cooldown like that. There we go. We want to use that one. I'm going to stun him as well. Because even though he was using an uninterruptible ability, if you stun him while he's using an uninterruptible ability, it does interrupt him because he gets, properly, he gets stunned. It's different to being interrupted. Two different mechanics. And it does work very well. Right, that is a great big pile of dead bodies, which, as far as we're concerned, is a wonderful thing. We've got uh, three more minions to take down. Need to find Barrel Gore, um, the body of Warlord Thresh Jin, and Moss Flayer Eyes we're still working on. I want to go... Actually, where do I want to go? I want to have a look in here, because I want to see... Armor, physical damage... Right, yeah... Agility doesn't actually do anything to us at all. Makes no difference whatsoever to our ability list. Um, oh, that is Ixlar's minions. Right, the Scourge Guards are actually um, part of what we want to do. So I'm going to take you there. Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that. Um, and now I'm stunned. Stunned or stunning? Could be either, really. And... Right, let's hit him with a shield like that, just just to keep him busy for a minute. And all right, all right, all right, all right. I get the I, I get the point. I I'll um I'll heal up. Uh, what did I just do there? Oh, divine protection reduces all damage by twenty percent. I did actually mean to press that, but you know we'll, we'll go with it. There. Um, I was facing the wrong way. That's why it wouldn't do anything. Facing the actual enemy that you're fighting might go a step in the right direction. I'm just putting that out there. It might help me out a little bit. I know, highly unorthodox, but still, I reckon we can work with it. Now, I'm going to go here. So if we pop this cooldown right here, increase agility by 34. Strength, stamina, armor. We've got critical strike here. Uh, we've got haste, versatility, dodge, and all of those. Pop that one. There is absolutely no difference on any of them. So that cooldown is a complete waste. It's not going to benefit us in any way, shape, or form. Um, so we really don't need to worry about that one at all. I've got Wil Willifred. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to help him out just because I'm nice. And also because there's um, extra minions here, I may be able to get a, um, a little bit of... Uh, quest credit for some of these. Nerubian sick fan. There we go. We've got ten of them. So let's take you out of the equation like that. And we want to head over this way. We've got Barrel Gore down over here. Probably going to be attacked by that skeleton. I'm not, but it was a... Well, it was one, the one that I was looking at, but I'm still being attacked by a skeleton. Uh, we'll take this one down here a minute. And then we've got two pets right there. There's a bat and a festering maggot. So hopefully one of those pets will actually allow us to do our little level up. If I can just quickly remove this guy. There we go. Right. There. And now we've got a festering maggot over there. I need to get a bit closer. There he is. What have we got? Uh, both greys. No good. I'm forfeiting. Not interested if they're greys. Not interested. I'm only going to do them if they're level ups. And I've, I've, I've got something to chase them. I'm going to go back over here because I don't want to um, kill the, the bat down there. Maybe, just maybe, the bat has got something useful for us. I don't have a target. Take you down like that. And we will come over here. 
And gone. Go bat. Go. Yes. Okay. The bat is an upgrade. We've got, see right there, that little symbol right there. We have got an upgrade. So we're going to capture the bat. So I'm going to hit him with the weakening blow right there. I'm probably going to have to hit him again in order before we can do the strong trap. And once we finish here, we're going to go back to Stormwind. And so we'll do a fishing daily somewhere around Stormwind. But not only that, I'm also planning to... Ooh, caught him first time. That's quite unusual, actually. I very rarely do that. Um, yeah, we'll um, we'll do a little bit of fishing around Stormwind as well. Uh, maybe try and pick up a few of the low-level fish. So that... See, now, Weakening Blow, that's, that's great and all, but I still need to bring him down. Fortunately, I do have the Leech Seed, so I can just use that one and finish him off. And then he comes back. Um, we may as well just pass on this turn, because it's not going to do us any good whatsoever. Although I can... Yeah, if I click pass, I've got the leech seed on him still. It's going to heal me up a little bit more. Out he goes. And we've got ourselves a new pet, which does actually need to be named after one of the mighty Frith Guardians who are in our book right here. So the last one was Zorda777. This one is Deuce MS. I'm just going to put my book down a minute. And, and then I can go to uh, Bat... Click here to view in journal right there. So that is the bat. So that one there is a grey... Oh, there. Grey quality, poor power and health. That one can go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to release. Release you. Bye-bye. And this bat right here, we will summon him up. And we will also rename him. This one is Deuce MS. There we go. Except we have a new pet. Added to the team, and he has been named after one of the mighty Frith Guardians. Thank you very much for your support. Whether it was on the channel or whether it was through Patreon, I'm not really sure. But you are a Frith Guardian, and therefore you are recognised. Um, where is Barrel Gore? Barrel Gore is supposed to be right here. I do not see Barrel Gore. It's supposed to be. Oh, that's a Carrion Devourer. That's, a, that's another one. There's gold over there. If there's gold, gold is good. Rithgar likes gold. Me likey gold a lot. Uh, there we go. Right. Grab the gold. And then we will go back over towards where Barrel Gore is supposed to be and see if we can actually find it. We are going to take our noble charger and maybe the Barrel Gore creature will be so dazzled by our magnificence that he will come out and face us. Apparently not. Apparently he is not dazzled at all. He's singularly unimpressed. All right, well, fine. I'll go up here and I'll grab the Mithril. Uh, oh, I thought that was... No, that's a monstrous plague bat down there. That's not the one that we're after, still. Um, let's dazzle again, shall we? He's got to be here somewhere. I might actually just wait a minute and come back in a second and try this again. Um, pretty sure he used to sort of cycle, you know, wander around here. It just used to be a rare spawn. I don't even know there was a quest for him. And maybe now there is a quest for him, and I don't really know why... Oh, there he is. Obviously, somebody took him out, and now we have... Um... And also, he's a bit agitated. He goes straight for you. He attacks you without anything, um, without provocation. Whereas the other ones, they tend to leave you alone if they don't bother you at all. I took something out. What? There was something else there. Pretty sure there was something else with this one that I've just, just taken down. There's a, a, a monstrous bat there. Am I going to be taking down that bat? Um, I'm going to take... The, yeah, the bat's there. We've got Barrel, barrel Gore. With this one. Come on, bat. I will very soon take out this bat there. Sonic Burst, I'll get rid of that one. Interrupt it. And now I've just got to wait for some of my abilities to recharge. There we go. Evil Bat Eye. Broken limb, lifeless skulls. There's an interesting selection of things to be had from the stomach of a giant carrion worm. It's got to be said. Now, the next thing that we want to do, the body of Warlord Thresh Jin. We need to be heading north now. More northwards. So we go up this way. There's a frenzied plague hound right there. Now, what do we got up here? There's more mithril. Mithril! I love mithril. Um, also, partly because... Um, it's our next step in our engineering. So we've got loads and loads of iron, but we didn't have very much in the way of mithril. So now that we've got some, that's going to boost our engineering quite a bit as well. And I'm quite pleased about that. All right, I'll finish him off. See, I have to rely every now and then on a bit of white damage, and I don't like that. I'm hoping that we can 
get an extra ability or two. Oh, the, look, it's, it's the Black Jeweled Panther. This thing is just so... The, one of the main reasons to like this one is it's just very, very bling. It's an extremely bling mount. There's no denying it. This is definitely a poser's mount. And, well, yeah, I, okay, I'm, I'm a bit of a poser. You probably figured that out by the amount of time I spend showing off the new mounts that I get and saying, Oh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Um, yeah, I, I, I may be a little bit of a show off. It, it, it's got to be said. Okay, we'll grab you lot right there. Aquamarine, I'm pretty sure... The aquamarines are actually quite useful with engineering. I'm pretty sure there's a scope that needs aquamarines. If there is, that's good. Because it it will, you know, even if we don't use it, it will have increased its value ever so slightly. And increasing its value is a good thing because we'll be able to cash in on the auction house. Anytime I can cash in on the auction house is, is, is good as far as I'm concerned. Right. Let's take these down here a minute and burn that down. And there are some other people here who are burning things down quite quickly. Take. Why aren't you taking? Did I already pick it up? Or maybe I already picked it up. Yeah, you go over the graves and it um, opens up these. Oh, that's probably why they took them down so fast. Because um, the, the, the graves... Yeah, they're, they're not like full strength characters, but you still get the eyes. Speak your peace. Speak your peace. I love it. I love the just everything. I like the accent. Uh, but um, I have actually played the um, or started to play as a troll. And whereas I really do enjoy playing the. Um, I, I like the accent and stuff. I've never been that taken with playing any of the Horde characters. And that's why I don't play Horde. It's, um, I just never really gotten into playing any of the Horde characters. Right, I'm going to do that so that I can gain some kill credits here. Bit cheeky, I know, but I'm still going to do it and I'm not going to be in the least bit guilty about it whatsoever. I'm just going to take them down. Right, I've got a, a cannibal right there, which I want to take out and I'll put that down. And then I'll do that as well. There we go. I got some kill credits on all of them. And we've got a whole load of eyes as well, which is great. Yeah. Um, a little bit more. Oh, I got yeah. some more loot. I thought I had some loot. Oh, no. They had loot. It was their loot, and they decided not to take it. So there's an infected moss flare right there. Plus uh, two over here. If I do that, it's going to hit both of them. And then I will put this one down. Like that. And start walloping. I'm going to actually pop that one. And you can pop those. And this is the thing. I always save them for when I really need them. And then I end up not using them at all. I'll, I, I, I'll do this for ages and ages and ages. And then I'll realize I've been gaming for like an hour. And at no point in the hour have I popped any of my cooldowns. Because I've been saving them for when I need them. And invariably... You don't really need to worry about that. You're generally going to be all right. Um, just pop the cooldowns when you can. Just use them up. It's only if you're going into a dungeon and you're about you're approaching a boss fight. That's pretty much the only time that you would need to seriously consider just holding on to them for just a minute. Um, let me just very quickly flash of light up there. Um, we've got some food. So I'm going to do that. I want to go and get Warlord Thresh Jin. I wonder if I'm going to get up there in time to get a hit on him. I am. There we go. Right, i got a hit on him. I can help these guys. There we go. Thresh Jin is down. i got the body. That's what I wanted. I'm going to go there. Out of the ziggurat. I have waited long for this day. My duty is not over yet. In many ways, this was the easy step. This is the last time you will see me, Grand Dawn. I am leaving the caravan. If you want to continue fighting by my side, hang on to Thresh Jin's body. I can wait for a while longer. When you are ready to say goodbye, throw the body into the bonfire atop Zol Mashar Ziggurat. Thank you for your companionship, Grand Dawn. You were strong. Okay, so I literally, I, he will stay with me if I keep the body. Otherwise, just sling it into the fire up here. And we're done. We'll do that while we're here, because otherwise we're going to come all the way back. So we'll, we'll chuck that one in there. In goes the body. I'll be going now. I have no reason to remain here. I may be undead, but my will is my own. I will see you in the green fields on the other side, Grundon. Vextul has passed on into the next realm. Your job here in Zolmashar is done. Wait, what's this? 
Bextool must have dropped it on his way into the fire. That's actually pretty much the same as what we've already got. So, um, yeah, we'll take it, but all we're going to do is sell it. We'll sell it straight to the merchant. Make a little bit of cash. Cash is good. Cash is always good. Right, all of those are ready to turn in. Report to Archmage Angela Dos Santos at Tears Hand in Eastern Plaguelands. Um, where's Tears Hand? I'm not even sure where Tears Hand is. Oh, it's down. Ah, down there. That's the other one that we got, which sort of uncovers some of this bit down here. So we've done Zol. Okay, whoops. Let's, let's, let's start running, shall we? We've got that one. We can go back down to the tower and we can turn in these few quests here. And once again, I got quite heavily squirreled in this episode. And, um, well, sort of. Sort of. I'm also I'm promoting the guild and so on. And the more people that we get in this guild, the better it's going to be for everybody involved. So I figure that that's a good thing. I'm going to try and not spend quite so much time talking about it. But, um, yeah. I also forgot what day I was recording for. So... That event that I was talking about, if you want to take part in it, absolutely brilliant. I would love to see you there, but it's going to be probably... I'm not sure. It'll either be 7 or 8 o'clock um, server time. Um, it's sooner than I thought. So it's, it's literally just, you know, very, very soon. Come and take part. If you do see this in time, that'd be absolutely brilliant. I'd love to see you there. Um, you can play hide and seek with me in Elwyn Forest and anybody else who comes along for the evening. I think it's going to be great. It's not going to be very long. Don't worry. It's not going to be like a hugely long thing. We'll probably do it like a couple of times. Um, give away a couple of prizes from the Guild Bank just to sort of start to get to know each other a little bit. And also um, because not everybody's got time to hang around for hours and hours. So we just do a quick little short game. Everybody have a bit of fun. A couple of prizes given out to anybody that wants them. And like I've already said... You do whatever you want with the prizes. They're your prizes. If you want to sell them on the auction house, by all means, be my guest. I know that the prizes I'm giving out, some of them are quite valuable. Uh, they're worth several thousand gold. Um, when you get to much higher level, it's not like the vast difference to the grand scheme of things. But certainly at lower levels, that several thousand gold could easily cover a couple of your riding skills. And that is quite an important thing. Um, it, it is it makes quite a difference time is money friend time is money friend keep this up and I may have to keep you here at East wall human keep it real and how may I help you I couldn't stop him while you and Taranar were out giddy ran north all alone Taranar you should have known better Gidwin gets so impatient sometimes <laughs> you you only egg him on if giddy gets into any trouble I'm blaming you for this. Right, what have we got? Oh, we got more. Ooh, trick. Now we're talking. Look at this. Okay, that is a neck piece there, which is like upgrade. But no, it's that one there. Use increases dodge by 38. Now that is much more Pop like. Any time. That is absolutely beautiful because we take that one right there eh, with the dodge. We don't want that with the old agility nonsense. We want that one because we're more likely to avoid being hit by something, which means that that <laughs> Avenger shield is more likely to proc. Um, as we're fighting in combat, and that is absolutely brilliant. That is something I love. The Legion's End draws near. The Legion's End draws near. Deacon Deacon Andal is deep in prayer. Oh, hallelujah, and praise, praise be to the light, my brother. Good health, long life. I'm not quite sure what accent they are. Um, It's, yeah, I may have to work on that. I'm probably going to have to work on all of them, to be honest. I used to be really good at accents. I used to love doing different accents from different regions all around the world. And it's Our been... enemies will fall. It's been many years. Damn that dwarf. He was always getting me into trouble with Fiona. Look at her. She won't even talk to me. I'm going to stay here and try to mend my friendship with our walking friend. Would you mind going out and making sure Gidwin is all right? I'm sure he's fine. He knows how to take care of himself. He headed north and he can't have gone far. The reckoning okay. is at hand. The reckoning is at hand. Now, that is all we've got time for today. So I'm going to hearth back to the um, Lights Hope Chapel. And we're going to say fairly well from there. Um, remember, have a go at designing our guild tabard. Remember, get in the comment section down below if you would like to join, not the comment section, into just look in the description for details of how to come and join our guild. You've got to be on the Terranas server on the EU region. You've got to be in the EU region to be able to join the YouTube community right here. 
And you've got to be on the Terra now server to be able to join our guild. Okay, so there is that. You do have to be in those areas in order to be able to do it. Um, but if you are, if you're able to join, it's at, that would be absolutely brilliant. I would love to see you here. So, um, The Legion will fall. The Legion will fall. I'm not quite sure. I can't quite place where the Draenor, the, the Draenei accent is. I have to look at that. I have to um, see if I can research that a bit. But anyway, that's all we got time for. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later. It worked! Ha <laughs> ha!